Well, it, I would say it's been quite the long-awaited time that Hillcurse finally gets its own director commentary. That the masses learn the uh, the uh, ancient <laughs> secrets behind making such a masterpiece. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the, I didn't even know there were secrets to making a masterpiece. I didn't even know I was making a masterpiece until. To... Well, let's not pat ourselves on the back too much. I mean, only 500 people have seen this video. I mean, that's more. And it's than... got three dislikes. Well, those people, those, those, okay, but those three dislikes are just clearly. And that's me, by the way. Clearly wrong. Oh, yeah. Anybody watching this knows that that's me. Yeah. Anyone who's watching this, I am. I guess in the movie Sea Bass, I don't even know how that came about. I'm the camera guy. I don't show my face. And and any time that we call you, is the name Sea Bass in the video anywhere? Yeah, because like, I I think. Like, during the planning scene towards the end, I think, like, Joey, Joey, like, meth, Joey, who is a cooter in the video, messages, not message. he mentions me. He does? He, he does. Well, that was, like, the first shot to the video. Because the first thing we shot was the whole night scenes at the end. Yeah. All, all of this stuff was the day after. Yeah. That's what, it, it's going to be really awkward, because, like... Skyler, who plays Hickory, but not like he matters anyway. Like he, we, when we shot the night scene first, he was like, spo like he was like a member of the Hill Critters, even though in hindsight, I mean, five, five people, four is good, but five's a crowd. Ha 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 ha. Ah, that is. But like, we want, we got everyone together the next morning to like film the rest of the movie, and Skyler, for whatever reasons, like, oh, you guys don't need. Which, I mean, probably for the best, he's, he's not wrong. We didn't, we honestly didn't need him at all. And then we could have that important scene where uh, Jared's calling him up and saying that we'll be there at 09 to 253. <laughs> well, even though, does that make sense? Because, like, in that scene, we're, like, going... Wait, never mind. I was going to say, like, we're, like, scoping out his land, but it's clearly not the same area, but you're not supposed <laughs> to notice that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Scott... <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't even know... Like, I, the only reason Skyler's in the movie is because we used his land for, like, the... <laughs> we used his land a dump on him too much. I, was say, I, I agree, <laughs> but we, we used his land... I mean, I, the initial plan was to have, like, everyone have a character, but, like, we we decided to kill Skyler off so quick, like, he, his character well, like, his was character never developed, and then he didn't want to come film the next day, so there was no chance of his character making any sense in the movie. Well, his character was going to be he dies in every episode. Yeah, and then he just didn't even appear in episode two. And, uh... Paddywhack, who turned into Todd Lerfondler, was also supposed to be in the and, Critters. Uh, I, I like this switch of like being in <laughs> Jared's, or, uh, excuse me, Rawhide's vehicle, which is like a, like kind of a sedan, not really a sedan, a but it's, it's got like a minivan with four seats, and then we stop right at Carl's truck. You don't know that the Hill Critters car is not a transformer. You're, you're, you're goddamn right that a gentleman sign is also above in toddler fondler. Also, in hindsight, we were like, if like both Skyler and Patrick were in the Hill Critters, that'd be six people on the team. Yeah, it'd be a little over. And that would just be, that's too much. And we would have this he, highly he, controversial scene. I, I agree. You see, initially we wanted to have. Patrick, who's the guy playing Toddler Fondler. Toddler Fondler. We wanted to have him in the movie, but for whatever reason, like when I told him we were going to go film the night scene, he like decided he wanted to not come. And I don't know. I mean, to be honest, like, good thing he didn't because we probably wouldn't have had such a fantastic night scene. And then we wouldn't have a Scooby in the second episode. That, I mean, that is valid. But also, this is more trivia for the second episode. But this <laughs> scene was the whole, like, the whole controversy behind this scene was the cause of the second episode. Because after we released it, you and Patrick were, like, wanted to cut it out because it was, I don't know, well, offensive. It, it, well, it was mainly Patrick who was like, I don't want to see that of me on the internet. And, and like, Even though, like, in this my was his <laughs> idea. Like, we didn't tell him to do any of this. Uh, well, I mean, like, we don't tell anyone to do... The, the magic of this movie, I think, comes from the fact that we had never told anyone to do anything. We just gave him a general direction of, like, where the scene needed to go, but, like, every line is improvised, and that's how you get these weird-ass scenes, like Patrick going, like, <laughs> like, nonstop, and saying how he wants to put his penis in tomatoes. It's basically just a cameo of, of uh, the pervert. That never explicitly stated, so we'll let the fans... Well, I mean, we can always say, like, like Todd Lerfondler is the pervert's name. Well, I guess. I mean, the I mean it's in the same bathroom. Purpose never. Really, I, 
I just cannot get over the fact that Jared's mouth is on the side of his head this whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a witch. I mean, it's like you can you can pause the movie at any time when Jared's face is on the screen, and it's never on. In, it's never like in a in a way where you cannot laugh at it. I like all the weird positions. With <laughs> Carl's under the truck. <laughs> like, in, like, any shot in this movie with uh, Jared, his mouth <laughs> is on like, the like Right here, they, like, go the wrong way. They, think, <laughs> they like, think we're meeting over there. <laughs> and Joey's like, oh, no, it's this way. <laughs> but, like, any shot in this movie, Jared's mouth is on the side of his face, and Joey's smiling. Look at girl Chip sweeping the grass. I know, he's the fan <laughs> favorite character. Yeah, the word for this particular... I wouldn't even say this one. I'd say more of his role in the second one. We wouldn't. He wouldn't even be a main character in. Well, I mean, he did such movie. a quality job in this one that we had. Yeah, to bring I, him I, back. I agree. We, we, we definitely had to. Even though he couldn't look less country. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if there's a, quite honestly, like, it, <laughs> I mean, I don't look I, country either. I, 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 I have like a bucket hat, but I mean, that's not. I, if you have a it's bucket, a, a rainbow bucket hat. I mean, you have a bucket hat, but you at least like pretend to talk in an accent. Like Mason's just like. He well, says, like, he, he says classified. He, he says classified, but that's like it. I, like, it also took me a while to get him off of Overwatch to, and there's a cameo of my dogs for no reason, but like, it took me like forever to get him off of Overwatch to come out and do this scene. And like, but, Patrick like just woke up and that's why he was in his pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I remember initially in that scene, because if you watch the behind the scenes, he like <laughs> decided to pull his pajamas up like all the way to like his fucking chest and like you could see his balls like in his pajamas which was kind of disgusting I'd have left it in I mean I, well, to the you see the thing is like I, I wasn't opposed to leaving it in but nobody could pull that scene off without laughing so like <laughs> oh it's just Joe he's always laughing that cheese I just that cheese the good thing about that button is like it was Patrick's grad party like a couple days before we filmed this and he got that button like at his grad, no, that was a graduation present, and he got he actually got that button like the day before when he was opening some of those cards. So I figured this is the absolute perfect thing to use in this. That cheese, God damn, I like cheese more than he does. I'll tell you. Right, that's a. <laughs> I mean, like this line, I remember the camera had to cut so quick because like everyone just started laughing right after it, and that that's like the kind of an issue that's like plagued this series. It's like if you notice a cut that happens way too quick, it's because everyone started laughing after it. We didn't want to reshoot it. Like a uh, chips into the oh god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of to blame to it for a lot of the laughing because like I'm, I, it's hard for me to like. Since I'm behind the camera, I don't really, I can't really stay in character. So like, basically the whole time when I'm behind there, I'm like, trying not to just die of laughter. And I think it's blatantly on display in the second one when like, <laughs> god damn it, you just need <laughs> duct tape on your mouth. Well, like, I mean, like Patrick in the second one, like, could not go when we first started filming with him. He like couldn't even go a scene without. God, he's big. He's big. <laughs> might, might be, might be the line of the movie right there. <laughs> the biggest, the best, the, the big dude. dude. He's high. He's highly intelligent. <laughs> Suddenly, Cobb's got a huge cage out of nowhere. Also, the it's a big cage. The uh, size of this cage is wildly different compared to uh, the ending. Yeah, I, I, I don't even remember why. I mean, you see, right here, when Jared's on the phone, he's like, "We're trying to figure out a way to like connect." Skyler's character back into the main story because he didn't want to come film and we did our best but like people probably don't even like we don't even properly introduce Hickory as like a character in the second part so like it's just kind of like you have these four guys and then all of a sudden there's this little blonde kid and you have like who like where did he come well, from? Well he says like Hickory we're coming, we're coming to your land big things on your land and Yeah, but in the next scene there's a new character that you just have to assume is Hickory I mean most people it, forget that Skyler's even in the video I mean yeah I mean like he dies so quick like, it's kind of hard to remember. And I do remember, like, this day of filming was just so ridiculously hot. Like, after we shot that, uh, it was Carl with the cage. Like, he just, like, went home and he told me he was just, like, sitting in front of his fan for, like, a half hour. I mean, uh, excuse me, I don't blame him. It was... Well, I mean, he was wearing a coat, long pants, and hauling a massive cage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I was in shorts, I think, and I was like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> and there's a Carl's first actual line in the movie. The whole point of his character, we just decided you don't even get lines. Like it's just mumbling a bunch of garbage. And 
So these are, are the woods off the berm at Community Park, which is wildly different from the uh, woods at the end of the movie at Skyler's house. Yeah. But I, mean, I, I really, I've used this area a few times in a lot of the movies that I've made because it's just a good spot. It's a great spot for filming. But the only issue I have with it is like, anytime we wanted to use it at night, it's just like the bugs. Actually, I guess really anywhere the bugs are so bad. But since this is like a swampy area, it's just horrible. I think the worst bugs were at the end of the the, the first one compared to the because the the problem with the second one at the night scenes was it was like raining. Yeah, well, well, this like, one the night scenes sure. like I mean there's like. <laughs> So many bugs, it looks like film grain. Yeah, and there's that big thing roar, and then, as you can see, Cobb is from Vietnam, he remembers that shit. Anybody could be any age in these videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally no. Like, I'm behind the camera here just being like, how can I cloverfield this scene as best as possible? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, this iconic line right here where he just forgets what to say. But also a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, like, there's... After I, like, told Carl to just redo the scene, I, like... I couldn't find, like, any good way to edit it, so I was just like, I'll just make Carl's character look awkward. Was there a reason why we call it the big thing and not just Bigfoot? Because I we watched an episode of Hill Critters like the night before, or like I, the, the uh, night Mountain before, Monsters, like you mean? or oh my bad, Mount. I forgot that's the actual show. I guess our show is just more famous, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like it's we based watched, off a of mountain monster. Yeah, it, it, if, you, if you couldn't tell, it is based off a of mountain monsters, and I I gotta say like us being over the top like compared to that show is probably about equal. Like like like, like the what the hell. Swinging around guns in the woods, uh, fat guys running in the right woods. Right here, this era, I kind of transition in every movie we make <laughs> prior yeah. to the next scene. And all of a sudden, the introduction of Skylar, but like going back to... And this is the first thing we shot. Yeah, this this was the first scene we shot, and I remember it took us a while because we could not... We just could not stop laughing. Well, like, at one point in this shot, in this scene, like, I'm like turned away because, like, Joey is like going off and I'm trying to hide my chuckling, so like... <laughs> In like one part, I'm you just turn, like, facing the other way because I'm covering my mouth. I mean, like how Joey like does this play. Well, like, like, up, like up until now, it makes no sense. But like Joey just like well, takes it to a whole new level. Well, of the not part that got it. me was like where he's like it like goes all the way around the world. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Pac-Man, <sighs> Pac-Man logic. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> And then, yeah, he comes back around the other side, and then right here he's gonna like turn around and just. <laughs> At least I look kind of country now. Right. There he mentions me. Yeah, that's, the, that's the only time he mentions me. Although there, there, <laughs> there's Alex turning around, just like trying to avoid his smiles, and then like soon it's gonna be like a full on like. <laughs> well, like, well, like I think like Carl's like high pitched like girly squee can be heard at one point. Just <laughs> a turn it around. But like this is like the one scene where I mentioned because I I don't I think for whatever reason someone decided to like make me a character but I found out like there's like another deleted scene where like Jared decided to like I was just walking with him in the woods and he decided to like talk to me and I was just like th like that whole scene of that was like enough for me to realize that I, I do not need to speak any words in this movie. And then we learned our lesson in uh, spook books. <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> but, but Wingdings is its <laughs> subtitles, because this so is like, going to be the one time people are like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, like, I had the idea for, like, one scene when uh, Cobb talks at, like, the uh, subtitles, it's just, like, unintelligible in, like, quotes. <laughs> Thanks, I try to make those plans as clear as I can be. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. It's look just, at that plan. It's, it's, just, just, uh, <laughs> it's just, it is horrid. There's, there's Skylar. There's Skylar the pickaxe, just like, where'd that guy come from? Where? Yeah, I mean, like, quite honestly, if there's anyone who looks like all... He, he definitely looks the least country. And, those I, bugs. and my god, this scene... From, look at the out of focus. Yeah, like, <laughs> the problem is with this camera is, like, whenever... Whenever it's dark, like, the focus just sucks horribly. Like, you can see it in the pervert, and it happens, like, one time in the next episode of Hit. Well, I mean, there's, like, one whole, like, scene in the second one that's out of focus. At least half of it is, and then like, <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> the one thing about Carl's subtitles in this movie is just like we got so sick of thinking of 
stuff for him to say. We just got lazy with it because, like, a lot of this night scene, we were just we'd been editing this movie for what seemed like forever. So, like, that whole scene. I think like, it was like fourteen hours or like tw- at least twelve hours straight. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think, but like, it did. Quite honestly, and like, well, I mean, it is twenty five minutes long. Like, and, and for for like anyone. And my, I think for anyone that wasn't like me filming the scene, because I was holding the flashlights to light up the scene, <laughs> those, like the bugs, like like, like the bu- like the bugs, like look good, to, like to make it look woodsy and whatnot. But like filming this movie was an absolute nightmare because like when you when we got onto the scene of Jimbo and uh, Cooter telling that story, like like that was like my I was probably up to my elbow, <laughs> I, like. Well, like, from holding that light, like every bug in the woods was on my arm, and they were all like biting me, and that was like the big, that was like a fucking nightmare. That was horrible. I hated that. Well, and, it's only because he had that light, because like it, like the bugs weren't really bothering me too much. It's just because he had that heckin' bright light. Yeah. In hand. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I get that, but like it was just horrible because it was like, because like a lot of this scene, like which is one of the best scenes in my opinion 100% improvised story and it's a great story but like a lot of this scene you can see me like shaking the camera a lot because like my arm was just I was tr- just trying to wasn't like Skylar walking by you like guiding you or like making sure that you're like bumping into that something y- yeah because yeah you see you can see me like shaking the camera a lot of this because I had so many bugs like I probably couldn't even like see my hand from like how many bugs were on him it was ridiculous and this was all in, like, everything in, like, all of our videos is one take, pretty much. Well, like, what? like, like, the only reason why we would do a second take is if it's completely unusable. And even then, we'll probably use it. Yeah, I mean, like, I wish we weren't like that, but we're always st- kind of strapped for time. Because, I mean, I mean, we could have been out here later, but I, was, I don't yeah. think anybody wanted to. I mean, I think we started filming this around, like, midnight. Well, no, like, we started at, like, 10.30, and it went to, like, almost 1. Which I think is pretty... Because, like, all of these night scenes, we had no idea where the story was going. We, like... The, like, all of... Like, the, the, the whole second half of this video at night was just made up, like, on the fly. Like, we would do one shot, and we would be like, okay, what happens next? I mean, to be honest, when I was filming it, like, I had absolutely no idea, like, it, like even, like, when we had a ton of scenes already filmed, I was like, I have no idea what direction this is even going, and, like, it wasn't until, like, editing that I even, like, it wasn't even until I, we were done editing to where I, like, not that, like, before I realized where this story was going. Now, like, this scene right here, like, I cut, de- I mean, I don't remember how long it is for this part, but, like, it went on for probably a bonus five minutes, because Jared felt like talking to me. Like, actually, like, about my character. Ugh. I wish we'd have learned that in the second episode and cut some stuff down, but... Oh, my God. Well, like... We'll get to that. We'll, get to, say, that. we'll, we'll get to the... the <laughs> problems with the second episode. Said, I'll get to the problems I have with the second... There's my Cloverfield again. <laughs> and Jared's just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> that shot kind of looked like the uh, Blair Witch Project. It, I, I would agree. And now here's this might be like I think the only time Carl has any like solo or cob for <laughs> for a better lack of a better word like he might be the only time he has like any solo action in the movie. In anything. <laughs> Forgot we put veggies as the subtitle for that Terry at Jack Link's teriyaki. He just I don't know how we got him to go in there. I mean like that is. Well, I don't think it took any convincing. I'm pretty sure we said go in, in the bush <sighs> and he just hopped right in. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't take too much convincing to have Carl. I mean, like, heck, in my second movie, Carl was willing to dive into the lake to be the drowner. Like, I mean, I'm kind of glad we didn't end up doing that, but you know, here we are, point alfalfa. I'm warming up for that <laughs> drowner call. <laughs> not drowner, but excuse me, the big thing. <laughs> and Jared's, oh, okay. Jared's oh, freaking the fuck <laughs> also, oh, also, like, if we wouldn't have added that sound, you'd, you'd have heard of him. I don't get that strong, bitch. Oh, boo! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like that Jared adds his own sound effects for a lot of the scenes, and Rawhide doesn't need his gun to go off. <laughs> and you got Jimbo freaking, freaking out. out. I think for the sound that we had, because like, we had. Cooter do the call, and then we had a set, like, we had, like, a reply, and I think we just had Skyler do, like, a similar call from, like, 60 feet away or something to replicate that. 
And then Jimbo thinks he sees something over here. It must be big. I mean, quite honestly, I it wouldn't just real guns. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if someone mis like <laughs> I mean, just real guns. Someone mistake mistake Jared for a Bigfoot. I mean, like of all people in our group, like <laughs> I guess Carl might be the only other one. Can't wait till Rawhide hears about this. <laughs> oh, sweet Mary Jane, I've been shot. This is where we find out how truly tough that some bitch Rawhide is. Like, <laughs> this scene in the next one. Also, going back a bit, it's weird how, like, we don't plan anything and we just shoot, like, one take, but everything always works out in, in editing. I mean, quite honestly, like, I, I wish we would do more of, like, cutting. I, I think that's going to be the goal for the motion picture of making it actually look good because by no means do I want the cinematography to look like this, but... Well, I think it works for this because it's supposed to be just like one guy is filming all this, even though it makes no sense because it's multiple scenes, but, you know, don't think about it. Well, I mean, we tried to make it kind of like the TV show, so, like, I, I guess that kind of, that makes a lot more sense, but... <laughs> We're all beat up on it. <laughs> the shoulder, he just gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's your favorite it. snack, boys. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just way too excited for that shit. And then Carl just like, oh look, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is just not Rawhide's day. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> he hate me. <laughs> he hate me. So, uh, like, Cobb comes out and he's just like, oh look, it's Bigfoot on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I like when the uh, subtitles get, like, weird. Or, like, big or big, small. Big when he... <laughs> oh, is that the big thing? He's just standing there like, oh, my bad. Like, I just shot one of our teammates, but it wouldn't be the first time. We <laughs> <laughs> I think like uh, that Native American line was like a, a line stolen directly from uh, Mountain Monster. <laughs> well, I mean, everything is based on like almost everything in this is based off of Mountain Monsters, but like you, you don't have to like know Mountain Monsters to like still get this. Except maybe that N Native American thing. I mean, I guess I could just be like, <laughs> of, like shall oh, we? This is the best shot in the movie. <laughs> I was pretty glad I thought of that. Like, you guys need to look straight. <laughs> look how small that cage is. <laughs> and the teriyaki's on the cage uh, for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. I think that was the bait. Like, we decided to use that as bait because Carl... Well, but actually, no, never mind. I have no idea what I, why that teriyaki is there because, like, when Carl sets up the cage, it never even happened. Then we just decided to put... And here the lights go out and put Cobb... His mouth. <laughs> <laughs> put Cobb under the cage and... As usual, just like the real show about monsters, Bigfoot gets away. It's but a like, complete failure, and we're like, ah, damn, we did. C complete failure. You don't even catch Bigfoot, but like they get back, and they're just like, oh, that was a job well done. Well, I guess, <laughs> like, I guess in the show that they're, they're like, we got evidence. Our job's done. I mean, like, to be honest, this was this uh, this episode of Hill Critters was much more of a win than any episode of Mountain Monsters because they never even see Bigfoot. I mean, I mean at least we saw it. <laughs> I also remember Scott, I also remember like anyone who had to be in that Bigfoot costume just complaining and I, it's like rightfully so at how hot that suit is it is unbelievable how hot that suit get <laughs> look at that plan <laughs> like is that a scrap piece of cardboard the scrap piece of cardboard there's with random lines drawn all over it and then uh, rawhide here coming in with his, one of his famous post Bigfoot hunt speeches bringing up the when cracking a cold one of the boys was a meme. I like how sometimes, like, or most of the time when uh, Cobb says something, it's not even worth having subtitles. I, that's, I mean, you're right, and we also <laughs> just didn't even... <laughs> that's a reference to the pervert. Yeah, but a reference to the pervert. I, I see, uh, like... Oh, I, got it. I don't even know where I was going with that one. One day we'll uh, reveal who Cheryl is, but... You have have your fan theories. <laughs> I don't know who Cheryl is. I, I don't do I'll it. think of it. I don't, I don't even know why. I'll think of it eventually. I don't even, like, did Joey just, like, randomly... <laughs> that was a last-minute decision by me to give Carl a good... Well, because we had no idea what he should say right here. I, I remember we were, like, debating for, like, 15 minutes what he should say. <laughs> you know, like, look... 
Ezra Cheryl's bad cook. Direct quote from the pervert, and like we didn't really know how to end this. So we're just gonna have like Bigfoot flip off the camera. That's about it. And I don't know what it is about like it's. I feel like the, when we ended the pervert, we really didn't know a good like proper way to. And actually, not really proper, but like. I don't know, we just didn't really know how to end it, so like, I guess all of our movies now are just going to end with Carl driving away. Because Pervert does it, this one does it, and... Well, any movie with Carl in it has to have him driving off. Anyway, we'll see you in episode two! <laughs> <laughs>